The Windy Boy is dead. The tragedy is overwhelming. All hope is lost. Oh well, time to get out of this tin can. Wayward Vagabond, escape. The door jams. Oh, right. The station is out of power. You forgot about that. Wayward Vagabond, examine treasure. Of course you still have your secret treasure, but it will almost certainly prove to be of no use in this dilemma whatsoever. It clearly serves no significant purpose other than to be pretty, and to make your hand glowy. Back in the sleeve of your trusty knife it goes. Wayward Vagabond, search for power source. Oh yeah, there's another thing you forgot about. <coughs> You ate that delicious green nuclear rock earlier in the day, even though it feels like it was more than a year ago. Huh. Guess there's nothing to do but wait it out. Jade, prepare for imminent windfall. Ugh. There he goes again, bothering you. He is so impatient. Doesn't he realize how time-consuming it is preparing for the holidays? He's just going to have to hold his stupid, angry alien space horses! Wait, you almost forgot. It's still April, and no one near the holiday season. You guess all this wintry weather tricked you into thinking it was. But wait, even that doesn't make any sense, since it never snowed on your island and you were never able to connect it with the holiday season. Boy, are you confused. But you always wanted a white Christmas, and damn it, that is what you are going to have, even though it's April, and even though you are giving all these presents to yourself, and even though Jesus Christ is no longer a relevant figure to celebrate on account of the annihilation of humanity. Oh, shut up, car cat. Carcat cannot be conveyed with a more detailed portrait yet. He is too angry, and is forced to look like shit. Maybe later, if he can manage to calm down. <laughs> yes, perfect. It is the prettiest tree I have ever seen! Okay, I'm gonna turn you another, like, negative billion artifact, Gris. Okay, great! Everything about that makes total sense! Yeah, now draw the conk suckiest boot you ever drew. Okay. Is this conk sucky enough? It's the conk suckiest piece of fucking shit that ever still somehow qualified as a boot. <laughs> You just know immigrants were responsible. Well, I am not even sure if I am technically a U.S. citizen. Yeah, see what I mean? Jade, deck halls. Jade, alchemize. You have put a lot of thought into this, and you have some great ideas. But first, you would like to make something practical. Something to keep you warm in this chilly weather. Jade, make earmuffs. You combine Rose's headband with, uh, some sort of fluffy ball you drew. This isn't really working. Also, this pointless thing was absurdly expensive for some reason. Oh, come on, Jay, just draw some earmuffs. You simply drew a pair of earmuffs and make them. Yay! Jade, combine earmuffs and lunch top. You make a pair of lunch muffs. Finally, an easy hands-free computing solution that keeps your ears warm and looks amazing to boot. Jade, combine Johnny Five and lunch top. You figure as long as you have the lunch top card handy, you might as well try to do something with this dumb Johnny Five ghost image you accidentally made once. You don't even know what this stupid robot's deal is! You've never seen this stupid movie. 
you make the Johnny Top! Finally, a difficult to use, hands-on computing solution that does nothing but roll around of its own accord while talking about its emotions and reading books fast. Finally! Now Jade, combine Iron Man armor and outfit! You decide to cut to the chase and do something that will have indisputably cool results. You go to one of the stairwell rooms and carefully observe the armor while you sketch it. You have secretly wondered whether your grandpa was actually Iron Man in his younger years. It would explain so many things, including why this armor is here. You make the Iron Lass suit. It's quite stylish, but maybe a bit cumbersome for casual wear. Probably only good for special occasions. If you're going to adopt a new regular outfit, you prefer something a little comfier and less ostentatious. And if possible, in less flagrant violation of copyright laws. Jade, combine one of Grandpa's beauties and outfit. You sketch one of his silly sun-bleached blue lady portraits. He would be so proud. You make the dress of Eclectica. This is so much better. Jade, combine Rose's crystal ball and magic cue ball. You lost your magic cue ball in the explosion, so you will have to draw it and hope your modus knows what you're getting at. You've been dying to see its predictions, and you think you're onto something here. Sadly, the modus interprets your circle as a boring and useless magic 8-ball. Oh well, your guess you'll do it anyway. Jade, combine Rose's crystal ball and magic 8-ball. You make a transparent magic 8-ball. You can now see inside and watch the dark water sloshing about the cavity in the globe. The predictions seem kind of lame when you can see all the other possibilities tumbling around in there. Kind of makes the fortune feel irrelevant. Jade, combine crystal ball and glasses. You make the sooth specs. Now you can see everything. Albeit through a dizzying fisheye filter. Now, combine sooth specs and lunch top. You make the junior compass sooth specter goggles. You can never have too many computers. Jade, combine furry trophy, lunch top, and shirt slash shoes. You grab one of your grandpa's softest trophies and use it to make really stylish, warm fuzzy squiddle jackets. You do the exact same thing to your shoes and create a matching pair of squiddle sneaks. The jacket and the shoes are also computers. You will never be caught without a computer, ever. You are suddenly feeling more fashionable than any kid in Paradox Space. All of the style belongs to you. And the only thing left to do is make yourself deadlier. Jade, combine Dave's Midnight Crew poster and rifle. You make a girl's best friend. Pew, pew, pew! Jade, combine Charles Dutton and Squiddle. You still have this Charles Dutton ghost image you accidentally made. You, uh, you are not sure what to do with this gentleman, if anything. Oh well, when in doubt, squiddle it! You made a duttle. The duttle is weirding you out a little. You believe you will keep your distance from the duttle. Jade, sketch particle accelerator. You put the leering duttle out of your mind and try to sketch one of the pieces of equipment from your destroyed room to the best of your recollection. Hopefully it works, so you can try making something sweet. Jade, combine rifle, iron lass suit, and particle accelerator. It worked! The result is a huge kick-ass proton cannon! Obviously you can only wield this weapon in your iron lass suit. Or you would, if you were able to afford the thing. Dave turbo torrented you a lot of grist, but you don't have that much. Jade, combine mummy and midnight crew poster and outfit. You made the dead shuffle dress. While wearing this outfit, you almost feel as if you were ripped from the animes. Jade, combine green sun bedsheet 
and girl's best friend. You made the Green Sun Street Sweeper. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, how about one more outfit? Outfits are the best, you think. Jade, combined dress of Eclectica, felt poster, and eight ball. You make the three in the morning dress. It is so fancy. You cannot imagine wearing it on anything other than super special occasions. Not to mention you'll freeze your ass off in this thing. Jade, combine mecha, street sweeper, and iron suit. You still have this mecha ghost image you made a while ago, by accident as usual. Might as well throw a bunch of crazy shit together and see what sort of insane loot crops up. The suspense is almost too much. You make. You make! Number five is alive! Johnny Five! God damn it! Motherfucker thinks he's alive! He's a tin can! Robots don't have feelings! Jade, combine Dutton and Sooth Specs. You make the Dutton Bubble Goggles. You can see into eternity! Forever! Okay, that's enough. Happy April 13th, 2009, everybody! All of your computers light up at once as some douchebag starts hassling you. Whoever this douchebag might be. You will have to remember to keep most of the computers turned off. Jade, answer this douchebag. Now all that you're done making all that pointless rubbish, I have got something way more worth your while. Which one were you again? Wait, weren't you the guy who was always trying to hit on me? That could have been anyone. Let's not get distracted by your sad league of suitors and their flushed desperations. I'm offering you the edge here in your rivalry with the other female. Uh... We got the same abstratus, and I don't need this thing anymore. Since I became more powerful than you could ever imagine as a mighty wizard of white science. So you might as well take it and settle your score with that awful witch. But I'm the witch. I mean, witch. Yeah, okay, the seer then, if you want to be dealing with technicalities. Rose? I do not have a score to settle with Rose. Why would you think that? Oh, well, fuck. Suppose I was guessing. It was natural to presume some such relation like that between the two of you. I think you're projecting your own attitude onto others. Just because you tend to hate and or hit on everyone you meet doesn't mean everyone else is that way. Rose just sent me a code for a crystal ball. She's my friend and is basically the best. Oh, I see. So she shared her magic secrets with you then. It's probably a trap. I wouldn't trust her. She is a cunning and treacherous sort. Trust me, I know her type. Wait, do you have a thing for her too? Did she reject you or something? You are slinging around such a bloody mess of slander with these accusations. You wouldn't understand anyway. It's already been painfully established. You people can get your shell of with think pans under the majesty of our quadrants. Huh. If you must know. Things between us were getting pretty bellicose, and I'm pretty sure she was waxing as obsidian for me, as a human got it in him to do. And if not for the interdimensional divide keeping us apart, honestly, I don't doubt our rivalry could be brewing outright pitch. Uh-huh. But the thing is, I need a rival who can pose me a challenge. And frankly, she's not even fit for holding my cape anymore. At this point, I find all her adorable black pixie dabblings to be prime kitty playtime shit. All of her fraudulent magics cannot come close to posing threat to my mastery or one of the truest sciences. And with my empiricist's wand, I sow as the righteous hope that we will incinerate delusion and the deluded alike. My holy fire is the white fury bled from the wrath-weary eyes of 50,000 non-fictional angels. And when they are finished weeping, they will bow over before their prince. Wow, what are you talking about? So really, you should be honored to inherit my old colon. Both my armaments and my feud. It'll be witch against witch. A real one versus an imposter. Faker one dies. Hey, look at that! 
time for me to get going. And will you just take the fucking gun already? No, I don't want it! It's a way more powerful weapon than any of that crap you made. It's a legendary relic without equal. More like a legendary piece of shit! You're being needlessly fucking stubborn about this. I'm doing you a fucking favor here. Yes, but I don't like you very much, and I feel really icky about accepting a present from you. If you accept it, this is the last I'll ever be bothering you about anything, okay? <sighs> Fine. What? That's the code. Oh. Jade, make this legendary piece of shit! Huh. I have seen this before. How is that possible? It's a one-of-a-kind weapon, plundered from an Alternian ghost ship. I am very sure it is the same rifle included with John's present, but bigger, of course. Probably a cheap imitation of the original. Uh, kinda like that one there. So, there's your answer. Stable loops ahoy. Now, enjoy the utter fucking domination it affords. Yes, but I did not provide the weapons. My pen pal did. Who's that? The guy who helped me build the present. We worked on it together, but he supplied the bunny's weapons. I'm pretty sure he's from the future. Why? Because he said he's my grandson. Well, what the fuck is a grandson? Uh, is that some kind of perverse human familial thing? Um, yes. No mind then. Your procreational biologistics make my fins curl in distaste. Oh no! Ugh! Please don't tell anyone I told you about him! Ugh! How can I let that slip to you, of all people? Settle down, woman Jade. You're radically underestimating the amount of shit I don't know about this. Oh, how you know, this is the last time I'm planning on talking to any human. I got bigger ships to sink, and soon, when I'm good and ready, me and my luminous fucking science stick, how got a date with Jack Noir. And no, not that kind of date! Give me a little fucking credit! Wow, okay. I wasn't gonna say anything. Why is this matter so hush-hush anyway? He didn't want me to tell my friends who he really was. I guess maybe he was concerned about upsetting the timeline? I don't know. Well, maybe he didn't wanna disrupt whatever disgusting sequence of events was responsible for his spawning in the first place. Maybe. I have wondered about that, assuming he is right. He was so nice, and it really did feel like I was talking to family. So I really don't think he was making it up. I couldn't help but try to imagine his parents. Or more interestingly, his grandfather. I still wonder who it could be. Although I guess at this point, the options are pretty limited. Okay, I think I'm starting to feel ill talking about things. Making me fathom pink wigglers coming out of your own personal torso. So change your fucking subject. That gun I just gave you is something of a hatch right to the kid. Happy I could play a role in your dirty, stinking lineage. Like an heirloom? I guess it could be. Do you even have those? If you don't have parents, how could you? No, we don't know what our direct forebears, and I'm pretty sure any attempt to seek out or even inquire about the supplier of your genes would be a fine way to get yourself killed. But we got our lore, and it says we all got individual ancestors who contribute to most of our genes above and beyond what the grub slurry does. Ew! Oh, shut up! Anyway, a lot of us believe we are meant to trace the footsteps of those ancestors, even though we can never know them. And on that journey, we can come across belongings they once had, because we will hatch to find them and finish their work. I kind of think that's why I found the gun in the first place. But now I'm forsaken it, because fuck, I just found a better destiny than my old crappy one, which I never got any appreciation for anyway. Huh. Then maybe that is how the heirloom should work. What do you mean? Well, I don't want to use it. Oh, well, well, man, come on! So I'll just dump it outside the house with the trash. And if it is fated to find my pen pal one day, then so be it! God damn it! It's like you people go out of your way to think how to disrespect me. Maybe you should have been nicer to me. In any case, I don't appreciate the spirit in which the gift was given, so this is what I will do. Fine, fuck it, but what do I care? This has been a completely flippin' useless exchange, as how they all been with your species. And for the record, even though I said that stuff about being fated to find my gun, fate isn't real. It's a lot of fake fucking horse feathers! 
Now will go and be cleansed by the light of truth, purity, non-fakeness, hope, and above all, science! Throw LPOS outside of the trash. I guess I should say something before I go. Alrighty, I am right glubbing here, like two feet away from you. If you want to say something to me, then why don't you just turn to your left and say it? It's bad enough that you've hardly said two lousy words to me since you became that sweaty asshole Smoochbot. I know, but this is hard for me. How is it hard? You're a tin can. Robots don't have feelings. No, that's not true. <sighs> okay, then what is it? Sorry about everything, and all the bad luck you've had. You didn't deserve it. I have to go now. What? Where are you going? I'm not sure. Uh, cool, I guess? Anyway, that's it. Wait, you mean for good? Will I see you again? I don't know that either. But I guess if you do, probably not with your eyes. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I think you'll be okay with it, though. I wish I could somehow make that emoticon smile. No, that looks stupid. Oh well. Come on, buddy, turn that into a hmm. Wait. No, that looks stupid. Oh well. Doom Dave, wake up! Doom Dave, pester Terezi! Well, that was apparently pointless. Now what? Hello? Terezi? What's up? <sighs> huh. Ah. <laughs> uh... 